guys welcome back to my channel here with another video my name is Vidiana Vidiana if you guys don't know uh, I'll be posting videos every Sunday so don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you guys haven't already so that you guys can stay tuned for more videos so if you have a teething baby you already know how it feels you're not sleeping your baby's in so much pain because of all the teeth that are coming out but those teeth all on top are coming out so i think he has 60 teeth on top that are coming out right now all at the same time he had two that came out and that was earlier um maybe a couple months ago that actually came out like bursted out and now he has another one right next to the ones that are already out he has six on top it's there's a lot they're all like coming down at the same time my poor baby he's just in a lot of pain so here are eight things that I do or eight however you guys want to do your eight eight things that I do to help soothe his pain all right so the eight things that I have for you are just different items and kind of like teething stuff remedies that I do to help him kind of soothe his pain um, the first one, by the way, I'll link all of the ones that I can find down below in the description box, either from Amazon or Target, That um, if I could find the link. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys is the Baby Tooth Gel from Dr. Talbots. Tal 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 I don't know. It has chamomile and clove. Um, here you go. If you can see it. All right, so this stuff, it doesn't taste very good because I've already tried it, but it helps soothe his, it kind of like numbs it. It's um, kind of like Origel, but more natural, I guess. It has more natural ingredients. Um, but this stuff really does help him whenever he's in a lot of pain. I put it on during the night whenever he wakes up kind of crying and I know that he's in pain because it's the easiest one to just put on your finger and rub on him. Um, so far it's worked pretty good. So I recommend this one. Um, baby teeth gel to get the second one is i have them all right here that's why i'm looking over here i want to see what order i want to give it to you guys is the baby highlands oral pain relief okay this one is little tablets i don't know if you guys can see little tablets that I smash up and I rub it onto his uh, gums as well. Um, but this I do more during the day because I actually have to get up and smash them and I don't want to do that in the middle of the night when you have a crying baby and you're trying to sleep. So I do these more during the day when I see that he's really uncomfortable and it really helps him as well and it, it tastes a lot sweeter so he likes these ones more. He still fights it when I'm trying to put stuff in his mouth or I try to fill his teeth but definitely is a during the day one and they help out a lot all right the third item i'm going to show you guys it's part of his pacifier he is uh really except obsessed with these uh pacifiers he didn't like those other green ones the avent ones that they give you at the hospital um these are the mam ones and i bought a whole collection of them and they all happen to disappear all the time everywhere that i go but i put the pacifier on this um pacifier holder thing and he likes chewing on this part because it's like a soft squishy material that he can chew on to kind of relieve his pain as well because he's constantly like trying to scratch them or he like feels that he sucks he sucks on his lips or like feels his teeth because he knows that they're there and he bites all up on this whenever he doesn't want his pacifier so it's a good thing to have whenever he is teething basically <laughs> that's number three Number four is this one. So any teething toy would work. All I do is find the ones that have like kind of water in it and I put it in the freezer and it freezes so it's really, really cold and um, eventually it does dissolve because it's just water and it'll unfreeze and he's just kind of, he likes the coldness of it and he chews on it and bites it as hard as he can and he really likes this one as well. Number five is this teething necklace. My yeah, I actually got this one. I don't remember where, but I will definitely ask her. She got this necklace, so I just put it on whenever he wants to like yank on me. I put it on and he can just pull it and this it's the same thing as the pacifier one. 
it's the same thing as the pacifier one so he can chew on here but it's something that i'm wearing and obviously he always wants to take everything that i have um and he chews on both of these ones so this is number five number six is another teething toy i got this for him whenever he was a lot smaller because i would put it on his hands and it's just like noise and stuff that he can do but now he just kind of uses these to bite on and he likes the soft part of it he likes everything about this one because he's constantly chewing this one so here's number six and number seven. Oh, let's do this one number seven is a what are these called a teething a fruit holder thing not sure what they're called but you just open it it's mesh there's also a plastic one that's probably easier to clean so if you can find the plastic ones those are better you put frozen fruit in here you could just put cold fruit in here or anything that's cold and you put it in here so that he can just chew it or suck on it whatever he wants to do because it's cold it relieves the pain on his gums so this one's another good one especially if your baby doesn't have any teeth yet and they're barely like bursting out and you're scared that he's gonna choke or she's gonna choke or whatever you can use this one all right last one number eight so this is a toothbrush yeah i would say it's just a toothbrush so this is how it looks So it's a toothbrush, but he's also able to like kind of grasp it. So whenever I brush my teeth in the morning, I give him this or I give him just a regular toothbrush because he likes following or copying what I do. And so he brushes his bottom teeth and I help him just kind of turn it. And he's only nine months old and he's already wanting to brush his teeth. So, I mean, he's growing too fast and he needs to stop. But I really like this one because he can grasp it and he scratches, or well, I kind of do it for him. Sometimes he does it on his own, but most of the time it's me scratching or helping him because I know that he gets really, really itchy and it bothers him. So I just try to give him as much things as he can to kind of help him. So this is number eight. Oh, by the way, he got this at, um, we got, got, actually got it whenever he went to the dentist. My sister-in-law's mom works at the office and she gave this to him so that he can give it to Mateo whenever his teeth come out. Start brushing their teeth as soon as they start popping out so that they can kind of like already get the feeling that they need to be brushing their teeth. And it also cleans it because they are eating now where Mateo is eating a lot now. So brushing their teeth anytime that you kind of get a chance so that they can get into the routine of it. A last item that I do, which is not part of these ones, is just giving him Tylenol every once in a while, especially at night when he's really struggling to sleep and wakes up like every hour. I just give him a little bit of Tylenol or ibuprofen so that he can relieve some pain. Um, but I don't give it to him a lot. I don't like giving him a lot of medicine. So as soon as he, if he's not crying a lot and in a lot of pain, I don't give it to him. But if he is, then I do give it to him at night. Tylenol, ibuprofen, whatever the recommended um, the recommended limit is, whatever your whatever your pediatrician tells you that you can give him. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and comment down below any videos that you guys are wanting to see from me or what else you guys want to see from me. See you next Sunday. Bye.